Talk to me about Luton getting banned from the entirety of Luton. Yeah, so coming back to Luton, so we, uh, I've so spoke- this, this, what happened to you is essentially what's happening now, or what they're trying to do to me is, but you yeah. probably should have been a warning to a lot of people who didn't even take yeah. in what happened to you. So we went to Berry Park, we didn't do anything wrong. We walked up Berry Park, the high street. Yep. We walked up to the corner. Do you know it's, it splits off like that? Yeah, the old pigeon bit in the middle of the town. You know, it goes round, it goes back. And the demon passes, yeah. Uh, and there's a big mosque around there. That's so we went saying. up to there, and there wasn't much reaction, believe it or not. So we walked back. We was giving out leaflets with our big Christian crosses and all that, doing a Christian patrol, because Luton is jihadi central. Like, you know yourself. Safe for Islam, it's just wall to wall, isn't it? Like you've got ginger converts down there, they're all in prison, prison. They're, all serving, they're all serving long sentences. Mm. So Berry Park is like jihadi central. Mm. Um, I think it's after Sparkbrook in Birmingham, it's the worst place in the country mm. for jihadis. Uh, so we thought we've got to go there and show them who's boss. This is still our country after all. Mm. We're not going to let them rule any part of our country. So we went down there. So you imagine there's 15 of us, we had our Mer- Britain First merchandise on, we had Christian crosses, we've given out leaflets, we've marched up, but on the way back things changed because, you know, it takes them a while yeah, to, to phones, figure out what's yeah. going on, to get their reinforcements out, and they come out of bloody everywhere. Uh, mercifully, it never kicked off, but it came that close, you can see from the footage. I'm surprised, I really am surprised it didn't, knowing Luton. Because we, we weren't and shrinking knowing, violets, were and we? And knowing the lads that were there when I was watching it. Yeah. And we weren't, we, we was given as good as we was getting. So it wasn't as if we was all, you know, we'd gone there, but now we're being passive. No, we was, we was giving as much as we got. Like the abuse they gave us, we was giving back. Mm. Uh, and then the police turned up and they ended up like hundred, of, about a hundred of them versus Did the police 15. make a statement saying they're not gonna be arresting anyone for any of the yeah. actions against you? People were throwing, throwing things at you, people were being aggressive, violent. Yeah. violent. Some of the footage we captured was brilliant. Oh, yeah. and we, you know, sometimes we do this because we want, to, we want to show people this is the danger. This is what it's like. This is what it's like. Go to Luton, this is what it's like. So we went up to a shopkeeper and he's got a grocery store it's surrounded by vegetables. And he went, what are you doing here? We've taken over this country. It's, it's our, our country, country now. Mm-hmm. You might remember it. I remember it. And then there was a woman right at the end, a lady. Uh, she must have been in her early 20s. She came running up past the police room. The Muslims are going to take over. Watch. Now, the video of this went straight up on Facebook, got 30 million hits. It became a, a global sensation mm. because of the way these people reacted. But that's, that's half the reason why we did it. Yeah, to show, to show them so what, Luton, this is what they think. This, this is Luton. Luton. This is an English town. This is Luton. This is, what, this is Jihadi Central. Mm. There's people in this area, like Safe for Islam, uh, but Bedfordshire Police, as you probably know, are one of the worst lefty police forces in the country. Mm. They're really bad. And... They, they were really bad against me, really bad, up until 2015, and then they haven't given me any hassle. Well, they came out and made an unprecedented statement. That's what my solicitor said. It's unprecedented for the police to say things like this. We're not going to enforce the law, basically. They, they put out a statement to calm the community, right? Talk about the Muslims in Berry Park, and they said, it doesn't matter what any of you have done, we are not going to prosecute any of you. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. So they could have been waving that's knives. That's what they said. And that's machetes. because, yeah. You got punched through the car window as well in Luton. Oh, that, that was in the run-up. Yeah, in the run-up. He didn't, yeah, get, he, run-up. he didn't get charged either. Is no. Right? So uh, I, was, I was in Berry Park and I drove. You they can literally put, get away from what you they You drive want. up the hill to Dunstable. Yeah. So I was driving up there and a Muslim car was behind me, erratic, telling me to pull over. So I pulled over, you know. Um, it's just up the road from where Saif Islam came up to you when you had a journalist yeah, yeah. and yeah, punched you in the mouth. He never got arrested. No. Well, this guy, he was a big fat Muslim. He'd already chucked beer cans at me back in Berry Park. So I stopped my car and said, what are you going to do? He walked up to my window, threw a punch through, which hit. I turned off the key, put up the, uh, uh, the, the, the handbrake, and I was just about to get out, and he walked back to his car. Um, so I've got... A Muslim, a violent Muslim extremist, on video, punching me in the face. Mm. There you go, Bedfordshire Police. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't wasn't arrested. I was driving. I was driving for an English town. He got no further action. What about the video?